hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how i recreated this outfit that is on my thumbnail i made this for a client so i went ahead to i've already um drafted my princess that boost here i have a video on how to draft your princess that boost here. i'm going to leave the link in my description box so i'm going to trace this out you so you use your tracing wheel and trace it, this out the aim is to have your complete front bodies facing you so that you make the alteration or you alter your body your bodies to um, a one off shoulder or a mono strap so i've traced it out i'm going to now use my marker and trace the marks out okay So I'm just using my marker to trace out the marks made by my tracing wheel. So you're just going to trace your pattern out and so you have your full front bodies facing you okay so i've done the tracing and i have my bodies facing me my front bodies facing me so i'm just going to alter this to a one off shoulder or a mono strap so on my left that is is left when it's facing you but it's, it's right if it's facing me so i'm going to mark my off shoulder you, you don't know normally when you're marking your off shoulder you mark five inches which is basic or standard but i'm going to mark 5.5 inches you can even do four inches or five if you don't want it to really come down so i'm going to mark 5.5 inches on that side then i'll come to this side Remember, you're marking from your shoulder line. You mark 5.5 inches. Then I'm going to come on the middle. Okay, that is the middle of my front bodies, and also mark 5.5 inches. The aim is to connect it from from that place I showed you. Okay, just connect it. So you're going to mark 5.5 inches. Forget my tip. I was I made a little bit of mistake but you're going to mark from your shoulder line so now I'm going to you're going to connect this either with your curve or you just use your freehand method but I'm going to use my pencil to just make a sketch of what I want and if it's something I like I'm now going to use my marker to you know make it bold so I'm going to use my marker to just connect it from here connect the points the 5.5 inches points okay like this Okay, so here is what it looks like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to label this pattern. This is my left and this is my right. Okay, so I'm going to label it like this and then 
the next thing I want to do is to contour my overboss that is to tighten my overboss okay I want to do this the aim is to tighten your overboss so that you won't have any gaping so I'm going to mark half an inch on each side of my dart okay like this and that will be my new dart I'm just going to connect it to my boss point and be my new dart okay I'm just going to connect it like so so you really have to or you really should do this because if you don't after joining or sewing your clay find out that area is going to be open it's going to be gaping like it's not going to be tight okay so but when you, when you um tighten it like this after sewing so the two that's together is going to hold it so i went ahead to just mark asterisk on the old that line okay so that i won't be needed anymore okay so here's my new that line that's where i'll be cutting from so that when i join this is going to be firm on my overbust okay so i'm going to set this aside and here is my back this is a normal back bodies i'm going to be um using the normal waist that okay so i'll go ahead and twist my back bodies like i did the front so that i'll also have my complete back bodies facing me that to also make the alteration okay so i have my back bodies facing me after tracing so i'm going to just use my marker and trace out the marks like so so um yeah i was just tracing it out with my marker I was done tracing and I have my back bodies, complete back bodies facing me. I'm just going to bring my front. Okay, so remember this is the left where we made the alteration and this is the right. So I'm going to turn or place my front to the back. That is front facing front. Okay, so this is the left where we mark. So I'm just going to mark it on my back so you understand what i'm doing and this is the right we mark it on my back like so okay so i'll just do this do this again this is the left where we altered and this is the right so i place it over to my back okay so i'm going to mark these things to to the back where it's facing okay so this is the left so i'm going to mark it on my back as a left and here is the right because it's facing the right of the back i'm going to mark it like so okay so you want to do this so that you won't go and cut this other side have you seen this okay you won't go and cut the right of the back okay so because we altered the left for the front we are going to be doing the alteration on the left for the back as well all right so i'll mark 5.5 in just like i did for the front starting from the shoulder line so i'll just extend my shoulder line like i'm doing So you mark 5.5 inch from the shoulder line remember it's on the left that we altered so we are doing the alteration on the left for the back as well. 
so I also mark 5.5 .5 inch on this area just extend my shoulder line to that area and then I also mark 5.5 .5 inch on this area that's my armhole area then I'm going to connect the points first I use my pencil then I use my marker so here is what I'm going to have for the back okay so next is to cut my patterns then here i've already cut my patterns and this is my back okay this is my back this is how it was and then i just cut through the midpoints okay to make it because i'll be adding zipper allowance on each side of the back piece and here is my front okay i'm also going to add necessary allowances because we didn't do that on the pattern so i'm going to add it when i'm cutting on my fabric so here i'm going to this is the back so you cut each of them separately okay so here i'm going to cut them on my fabric so i'm going to add half inch on my armhole half inch on my shoulder line and half inch on my neckline and then 1.5 inch for my zipper allowance okay so i'm just going to cut it off i'm not going to add um, any allowance on the hem or on the downside of my waist rather because i already did on the pattern okay so if you add allowance on your waist you don't have to just add your allowances where necessary added 1.5 inch seam allowance for my zipper side so i was just cutting off the excesses so i just went ahead to do the same thing for the other side of my bag i pinned it on my fabric and then i added my necessary allowances and cut i'll do that for the other piece that is my front pattern here i'm going to add half inch for that area for joining the dart then half inch for my neck line then half inch for my shoulder Then half inch for this side of my dart for joining the dart as well. So I'll do the same thing for the other two pieces as the side pieces of my front. Just add your necessary allowances and cut on your fabric. So I'm done cutting and I folded my fabric to cut my skirts, folded it into two, cut my skirts. So I'm going to mark the full length of my skirts and I'll add two inches seam allowance. So measure your, your full length, the length where you want your skirt to be, the length of your skirt and you add two inches seam allowance and then you mark and then you connect it with a straight line 
so now i'm going to mark my hip from my waist sorry here i was marking my waist circumference so i divided my waist by four and i added I added one inch allowance for joining my dads and then 1.5 inch for seam allowance. Then on my hip, I measured the second part of my hip divided by 4 plus 1.5 inch seam allowance. Okay, so from my waist to my hips, actually 9. So, what I have on my waist, I brought it down to my hem. So, whatever you have on your waist, on your hip rather, you bring it down to your hem. And then, you minus 2 inches from it, okay? This is to create that um, pencil effect on your hem. So, you bring down the value on your hip to your hem, minus 2 inches from it to create that pencil shape on your hem so you're just going to connect the lines like like this and then you cut it the next thing i'm going to do after cutting is to open up this is the back just mark it to you know identify that that's the back so i'm going to open up my front my front piece that's my front skirt like this and this is the front so i'm going to mark i'm going to mark where the joining i want the joining to start from okay so on this side which is the left side of my front skirt i marked where that joining going to start from you can see on the thumbnail uh, an organza was joined that is different fabric was joined to the skirt so here i was marking where i want that joining to start from so you measure your clients or yourself if you're saying for yourself and get where you want the joining to start from okay then on this side i marked five inches above okay as you can see on the thumbnail there's like it's slanted that's the joining is not straight it was slanted a bit so i measured five inches up and i'm going to slant it to that point like this Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to just set this aside. Okay, I'll be needing it later. Then I will just fold my fabric again and place my front on the folded fabric to cut my back. Okay, so I folded it. And I placed my front on it and I made space for the zipper allowance. I I made 1.5 inches space for the zipper allowance. I'm just going to cut, use, use the front to cut the back like this. Remember to leave 1.5 inch zipper allowance for your back. So I'm done cutting the back here. I'm going to notch the zipper area. That's the zipper allowance. That's what I did. And then I'm going to remove my front. Then mark this the back. Then open up my back like so. 
to the front so this is the front facing me so now i'm going to bring my front part of the skirt okay so i'm going to mark that length that i marked for the front that is where i want the joining to start from i'm just going to mark it okay And then I'll just connect the lines. So I'm going to bring um, my front. Okay. I was just checking if what I marked was correct. So I'm going to bring my front skirt, okay? So here is the front that we mark. I'm going to place it on my back, front facing front, okay? So as you can see, this is the area that we marked, and that will be the area we we'll mark for the back, okay? So I'm just going to mark five inches above, and then connect it like I did. For the front just connect it to that other point okay so i'll go ahead and cut it off cut the slant off Remember, this is my bag that I'm cutting first. So, so I'm just going to. This is. I'm just marking it here so that I will know which is the front and which is the back. Okay. So, the next thing I'm going to do is to fold it. Fold it equally like so and then cut the middle open that is where our zipper is going to be just fold it equally like so and then cut open the center back for the zipper area okay So I'll do the same. So I have two pieces now for the back. And here's where I'll piece my zip. I'll do the same thing for this area. Okay. You know we are going to use this particular one to cut on another fabric. Okay. So I'm just going to cut open the midpoint. That's the middle where I'll attach my zip. Okay. So I also cut the front so I just cut the slant this area cut it off So here's what I have. So I'm just marking this to just know where my front is and where my back is. Okay. So you use this pattern that is the down part. Okay. To cut out the same thing for the back. Okay. And you add one inch seam allowance for the top okay 
that we use that in join. So you just place it on your fabric. It doesn't matter how you place it. Here I was placing it um on my as in I was placing the front to the back of the net. I was using in a transparent fabric, okay, for this. So if your if your if your front is facing you, that means your it should be placing it um back facing the front of what you're using to cut it i don't know if you understand what i mean so remember i added half inch on the top for joining it to the the upper side okay so i'll do the same thing for the front piece okay so as i said it doesn't matter how you place it okay if you're placing it if your front is facing you that means the back should be facing the front of the fabric under so i added my one inch on top and here i've done cutting here is what the front will look like so i'm just going to join it okay And here is the back. This was going to look like. It can be a really it can be a little bit confusing but just make your necessary notches so you don't get confused so here's what the back will look like okay please if you enjoyed watching this video kindly like subscribe to my channel and please drop your comments i would love to read from you thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye